Hey guys, so another game arrived today. This one looks like it got a wee bit more damage than any other that I've received in a while. Um, but yeah, we'll crack it open and hope for the best. I think this is going to be the second wave of Black Rose Wars. Let's have a look. Oh wow, that's not a good sign. <laughs> the cardboard on this box is very wet. Um, it's sitting not in the rain here, so I'm not sure where it got wet. Um, but hopefully everything is protected inside. I don't know, I think everything goes good. But yeah, so this is uh, Black Rose Wars by Lotus Magnus Studios. It's got a bit of damp feel to it. It's got a hole in that side of the packaging. Oh no, and there's a, a hole in here, so any of that water probably will have got into that box. That's unfortunate, but we'll see as we get get into it um, how everything survived. More bubble wrapping that I'm going to forget about. And then these, they're not, not sealed either. Um, they're just closed over with plastic, so I think water could have got into these, these, these packets as well, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. Um, so yeah, this is the the second wave. So this is all of the Kickstarter um, exclusives and a few add-ons that I added on. Um, so let's get rid of this sad box. Um, so I think we're going to start off with the the Sata box. Um, so yeah, here we go. Big box first. Um, oh, we're just feeling that there's a wee bit of moisture in there and the. The wrapping does feel like it got a bit damp. There's a few small holes. I'll zoom in and see if we can see them um, in this. So yeah, I, I am a little worried, but we'll see. Right, saying hey, it probably got got wet, um, and we'll see what happens, what comes from that. Uh, but let's open it up. And yeah, looking in there, looks a wee bit damaged. Um, and then, yeah, water. The box for this Kickstarter, when they were running it, they were like, hey, we unlocked this fancy box. Um, but then when they went to deliver it, they're like, yeah, no, no fancy box for you guys. Um, you just get a cardboard box with this sleeve on it that doesn't quite fit the whole box anyway. But yeah, it does feel fine. I think I'm going to be worried the whole time that everything's going to feel wet. Fingers crossed that it's all fine. Um, so yeah, let's get that fancy sleeve off. No. And then work out how to open this thing. Just going to pull from here. And here we go. Hey, it's a silica pack. That'll save it all. Um, so yeah, we've got the we've got the rules for the um, for all of the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Um, new and modified rules. Um, some solar play. New mages. Yeah, so that looks good. I think this is going to add a whole heap of mages, a whole bunch more rooms. Um, and yeah, we also got something for Nova Atis. Nova Atis, um, they're running a Kickstarter at the moment, but by the time this goes up, it'll probably be finished. I think it's still got about Less than a day, um, but yeah, and this looks like something for another one of their games, D-E-I. Um, so yeah, I guess there's a bunch of promos for some of their other games. Um, these are the new, the new mage boards. Um, so with the, with this expansion, Kickstarter box instead of having individual mage boards, like full ones. Um, as we go through this, we'll see that they, these wee things will just clip into um, a bigger board, so you don't have to have the big full board for each of them. 
uh, ah, which is these here. So open one of these up. Um, so yeah, these will just go in. These will just go in and sit like that somehow. Um, somehow. Doesn't sit very flush. <laughs> Maybe a different one. Maybe just hope for the best. Um, but yeah, so these are the majors. I think these ones are all ones from the uh, core game and then we get on to some of the, the Kickstarter exclusive majors so there's quite a few of them um, I am still Still to play the original, the core game, even though I have all of this extra stuff now, um, but yeah, I'm sure it can be quite a long game, so you just need to find the right time. Um, so the good news is everything in here seems to be individually wrapped, so even if a wee bit of the moisture from the start did get in, I don't think it did, um, all of the cardboard's in its own wrapping as well. Uh, so next up we've got these punch boards. Um, so yeah, we got these punch boards um, with a bunch more status tokens and different room abilities. Um, they all seem pretty nice to punch out, uh, but I'll leave them in there for now. Uh, next up, we've got all of these wonderful looking minis. Uh, let's start off with this box. So again, um, at the end of this I might go through and just do a, a, another look at these from a different angle. Um, because it's hard to really, really get all of this amazing detail, sort of, um, all this amazing detail from this top-down camera. Um, so just quickly go through these now. Stick around till the end and I will have a better angle of it all. Um, here are a bunch of... Oh, these are quite nice. They hold everything in quite tightly. I'm not going to move around. Um, some more rose pins. Not sure what for. Maybe some with bad in there this shipping. Uh, but yeah, here's a bunch more things you can summon and all of the new mages, well not all of the new mages, a whole bunch of new mages. Let's just zoom in here. And move the box. No, the box is too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's that first row. Um, I might also bring it up. Maybe that's a better way of doing it. Uh, and then underneath it, another huge row of more things. This was quite a lot of stuff that ended up being. Um, and then yeah, as I said earlier, there's a expansion running for oh, sorry, a camp Kickstarter running for Nova Aeus Aetis, however it's pronounced. Uh, at the moment, but it will probably be over uh, by the time this is up. Uh, but be sure to check out, I'm sure they'll be doing a late pledge of some kind. Um, and again, it's something that seems to have a whole bunch of added on miniatures. Oh, not added on. A whole bunch of um, Kickstarter unlocked miniatures. 
So yeah. It's two trays. I can't imagine it to be anything like this, so this is just so much. And now we can see into that box. We can see all of these extra cards for the different schools of magic and different rooms and different everything. Um, yeah, if you're sleeve, you're going to have a lot of sleeves you need to buy and fill everything. Um, so yeah. Got a bunch more cards. And then a huge amount more cards. Oh, maybe that wasn't the best way of doing it. Um, but I think this is all of the different schools um, and bonus things, I don't even know. Got, yeah, another set. Another one, and another one, and another one. So, yeah, there's. There is definitely a lot of content um, that was added on from that from the Kickstarter. Um, I'm not sure what their plan is for any of this going into retail. Um, if they're going to release any sort of expansions with some of this content, um, it's a lot of it. So I I don't even know how much you really need. <laughs> I've heard with the with the content already in the base game, it's plenty to keep everyone um, occupied. Um, so then we have the new, the new, um, the new rooms. I don't know if I want to take these out of this because I don't know where they're going to go back. But for you, dear viewers, I will. Um, so that was. Right. So yeah, for some reason my camera is <laughs> angling. Um, so yeah, we've got all of these new map tiles, uh, room tiles. Yeah, there's heaps, I think, probably, with all of this stuff, I think there's more in this, um, in the SATA box expansion stuff than there was in the base game. Um, so if you manage to get the Kickstarter, yay! Or if you're looking at trying to buy it from someone, it'll be a good value, probably. Um, but then again, do you really need all of this? Where are you going to store it? Look how big this box is. Um, it's just huge. Yeah, so there's however many rooms that is. So all of these additional rooms. Um, and then the last tray of miniatures. Um, so we'll do that again. Hey, it's a more silica packs. They feel a bit damp. <laughs> Perfect. They're doing their job. Uh, so yeah, there's some some chests. And then some more more things that I think you can probably summon. everything. Um, again, stick around and I'll probably just try and um, get a quick quick shot of everything, of all the miniatures from a better angle. Um, yeah, it'll be with all of the expansions at that point, once I've unboxed everything. Now just to work out how this all goes back in. So many cards. Are the places that the cards are going to go once they're unwrapped? Yeah, this spot here. Small cards can go in there. Crazy box. Oh, maybe some of these cards can go in here. Hope that's everything. Um, so yeah, we'll just have a look at the Melias next, um, there's a few of them, I think I got four types, 
Uh, so these are just we things that are added an extra room um, or their lair um, where you can summon them from to help you with your mage battles. Um, so first off we've got the, the griffins. And the thing I want to work out is where am I going to store these? Um, so they come with some uh, wee punch tiles in the room, um, the room tile. Uh, so cards, the miniatures in three different poses. Um, and then this, which is going to fold out and maybe be a rule book or just some. Ah, yeah, it's rule books for the different languages. So here's the English. Yeah. Nice and simple. I don't know if I'll keep the other language rules. Um, so yeah, and then that'll be the same for other three types. This was also one of the. One of the first um, Kickstarters I backed way back in 20, early 2018. Um, and I probably went a wee bit overboard with it, getting sort of all of the gameplay stuff. Um, but yeah, it's all arrived and it all, all seems in good quality. Um, these are the Draco. Maybe, maybe dragon things. Uh, next up we've got the Cerebrus. Um, again, these all come with the really cute miniatures. I think there's three unique sculpts of them. Um, the maps, the cards and everything you need to play with them. Uh, then finally we've got the Hydra. Uh, which and so we miniatures, one of them seems to have come out of its packaging. Doesn't want to sit back in there. Um, but yeah, it's also got cards, punch boards, a mat, and some rules. So yeah, those are nice. Again, if you stick around till the end, I'll get a better look of better look at all of these wee minis. So that brings us to our final. Final bit to our box and um, the Inferno box with its presence like that. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, this one I'm probably the most worried about the water damage because it's a big hole on the side and it's quite wet in there. Um, but I think the box will have absorbed everything. It'll be fine on the inside. So here we go. So this, like I think the Kronos expansion, um, adds a big monster to fight um, with some more, more map tiles and more rules and maybe more mages. Um, so yeah, here's the rule book. Except it looks like it's in Spanish. So here's hopefully the English rule book. No habla espanol. Yeah, so it's got a table of contents. It's got the game components. Um, so I think this takes you to hell or something like that. I think for this one they kept everything in, I want to say Italian, um, for all of the names of the rooms and things. Um, so Lucifer is Lucifio or something. Luciferio, I don't know. I can't pronounce it and I probably shouldn't be trying. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch more rooms and tokens.
So I guess it's not quite as big as the Cronus. Cronus Mini. It was huge. Um, so these are the minis for the expansion. Lucifer. Another one that was a wee bit in shadows. And then we've got all the cardboard components. Um, that out. Let's jump back up there. And, um, all of the punch board stuff. Again, it looks like the same quality and same everything as what's been in all the previous games. Now the kicks uh, core and the um, SATA box. It's a bunch more small cards. Another set of cards, I guess, because this one comes as the uh, two language packs. Um, there's duplicates of everything, so maybe there won't quite be this many. It won't quite be this much, uh, as everything's been, yeah, duplicated. So that's good. Be able to get rid of half of this. Um, and then we have again a huge pile of rooms. Nicely in this box is an actual spot for the rooms to go back in. So I'm not too worried about. Pulling this tape off. Um, so, yeah, all of the rooms have their um, name in Italian. I probably got that wrong. So yeah, that's all of the, the room tiles. Get some more. Then, um, once everything gets popped out, it looks like there's space for everything. Um, and then yeah, we'll go through, move everything out of the way, and then I'll cut to a better shot of all of the miniatures from a different angle. Um, it will probably be by the box which they came from, just so I can remember where everything goes back again. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more from the Board Games and Cats. Bye! So for these, I'm just going to have one set, or oh, one of the miniature if it comes in a set of multiple. Um, so this is the unique miniatures from the Inferno expansion. Luciferial, yeah. Next up, we got the pits.